The FAME study was a, a large multi-center international uh, study, uh, randomized study, comparing uh, two strategies for treating patients with uh, coronary artery disease. The reason we did this study was because more and more we're seeing patients who have multiple narrowings in their arteries. and. Uh, in these cases, many patients are receiving multiple stents. We wanted to evaluate whether or not a strategy using the pressure wire to measure fractional flow reserve could provide um, a more judicious or informed uh, placement of the stents. Currently, the angiogram is the main technique for deciding um, if a patient needs a stent. And the limitation is that uh, the angiogram is um, essentially an outline of the artery, but it doesn't tell us exactly uh, what's going on inside the artery. And uh, at times the angiogram can be misleading, um, particularly when there's a 50 to 70 percent narrowing. Uh, some of those are very significant and um, affecting the blood flow to the heart, whereas others have no impact on the blood flow. So this is an example of a coronary angiogram. We have our catheter shown here and we're injecting contrast into the coronary arteries. This is one of the main coronary arteries. And this is what a normal vessel should look like, but up here you see a pinching or narrowing of that artery. And the angiogram suggests that it may be 50 to 60% narrowed. So in those cases, um, we will use a, a special wire that has a miniaturized pressure sensor near its tip and that allows us to measure the pressure beyond the narrowing and we compare it to the pressure in front of the narrowing. And that ratio uh, is called the fractional flow reserve or FFR. This is an example of a fractional flow reserve or FFR measurement and what you see here um, are two pressure tracings. The green tracing is the pressure recorded from the wire beyond the narrowing and the red tracing is the pressure recorded from the catheter in front of the narrowing. And in the normal setting, these pressures should be identical. But when you have a narrowing that's impacting the blood flow down the vessel, the pressure beyond the narrowing uh, will be lower. I think the take home message from the study is that our current strategy of, of using the angiogram to decide whether or not to place a stent uh, is not always the best strategy. And that uh, additional information, particularly using a pressure wire to measure the fractional flow reserve, can be helpful in many instances to help guide uh, that decision process and allow the physician to make a more informed uh, uh, decision. And, and the end result is uh, improved outcomes uh, with less uh, death, heart attack, and need for repeat revascularization, and lower costs as well. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.